All right, in this lesson, we're gonna go over bond retirement. So what do we do when we retire the bond at the very end of its life as a bond? So on the maturity date, how would we report um, the journal entry for the payback and any unaccrued interest? So that's what we're looking at here. So just as an overview, when a bond uh, retires at full maturity, we basically pay back the money owed to the lender and reduce the liability associated with the loan. So for example, it might look something like this. We're gonna debit the bonds payable for a million dollars and then credit the cash because we're gonna pay cash of a million dollars. Notice that there's nothing here about premiums or discounts. This would be the same for all bonds. So if we take it to maturity, we're gonna debit the bonds payable for the actual bond amount and then credit the cash for the actual payment regardless of how it was issued at the very beginning. Now, in addition to paying back the bond payable, we have to think about any unpaid interest. So if we had not accrued all the interest on the bond through its date of its payback, then we need to accrue the rest of the interest and pay our interest at the same time we pay back our principal balance. So the reason why this is important is because usually bonds will pay interest every six months. So every six months, it's going to pay the interest and it's going to accrue the interest expense. That last six months or that last little bit since the last payment and when the bond is paid back, that time period has not usually been accrued from an interest standpoint. As such, we need to bring interest all the way up to date and when we do that, then we can pay the bond back. So in this, this kind of on your screen right now, we're gonna debit the interest payable or expense, depending on what we're trying to do here, uh, and then credit cash. So if we've already accrued the bond expense or the interest expense, then it's gonna be debit interest payable, credit cash. If we haven't, then it'll be debit interest expense and credit cash. So basically at the end of the day, break, make sure your bond interest is up to date before you pay the bond back. So let's do an example of what we're talking about in these two slides here. Assume company A pays their entire $100,000, 4.5% 10 year bond and maturity completing 10 years. The last time interest was paid was on February 28th, 2010. So February 28th was their last payment date, and we are now at the end of its maturity, which is August 31st, 20X10. Prepare the final interest expense and the associated journal entry for the repayment of the bonds. No accrual of interest expense has been made since the last interest payment. So we haven't done any interest accrual since February 28th, so now we have to accrue the interest that uh, is owed from February, from March 1st, through the bond's maturity date. So to do that, we've got our interest formula here. So our principal amount is $100,000. Our annual rate is 4.5%. And our fraction of the year would be March, April, May, June, July, August, six months. So 6, 12, that's gonna give you $2,250. So that's the interest that we have incurred and that's what we're gonna to need to pay to satisfy the last six months of this bond. So if we know that, we can go straight for it. We're gonna debit interest expense. So interest expense in the amount of 2,250. Now we've brought interest all the way to maturity date. We're also gonna pay back our bonds. So when we pay our, our bonds back, we're gonna get released of that liability. So we're gonna debit our bonds payable in the amount of $100,000. And then what do we credit? We're gonna credit the cash that we're gonna to have to pay. So we're gonna credit cash in the amount of 102 to 50. So we're paying back not only the principal amount, but we're also paying back the interest expense. So that is a look on the bond retirement. So really kind of the same things that you would do with a notes payable. The only difference is, is we might have to accrue the interest a little bit more, a little bit less, but we're trying to bring the interest all the way up to date. Once we have that, then we can extinguish our liability, which in this case would be a bonds payable. So hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you in the next video.
Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you press the like button below. And if you're looking for worksheets that go along with all of these lessons, head over to my website at patrickleemsa.com or click in the link in the far right. And I've got your next lesson right over here. So just click that link and it'll take you to that video. So until then, we'll see you in the next lesson.